Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, well then welcome. My name is Donna. And on this channel, I like talking about anything from fashion style, luxury handbags. So if you're into all that good stuff as well, don't forget to subscribe below and please hit that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. So with the summer spring months just around the corner, for this video, I decided to review my go-to summer bag. And that is my Fendi wallet on a chain in this beautiful light pink color or light rose color like Fendi likes to call it. So without further ado, let's get to it. So this bag does come in a creamy yellowy Fendi dust bag. It is in like a cotton, I would say a cross between cotton and denim material as you can see by the, the stitching on the bag or the, the texture. It's very simple, all it says is Fendi Roma on the front, the back is pretty plain. So I'm gonna take out the bag to reveal it. So, this is it. It's the Fendi wallet on the chain. The exact name, I'm not too sure, too sure what they call it. I don't really remember, but I can put it in the description box below. And it is a light rose color, although on the camera it is coming up a little bit more peachy or beigey but in real life it really is light rose which is perfect for the summer months the bag is 100 percent calf leather and as you can see if you look closely you can see that it is grained now fendi calls this type of leather the um the tumbled cruise leather which means which makes its name all the more fitting since it is a summer bag now, although it is grained leather, it still is quite smooth when you do feel it. And as you can see, it is still very soft. So I can kind of like squish the sides. So it's very, it does have a very nice feel. Now the stitching is pink on pink, as you can see. And the sides are painted in this like black or dark brown color. And that this kind of type of paint kind of helps the bag keep its rigidity while being soft and squishy all at the same time so it does have a very nice feel there is not much gold hardware on the bag as you can see the only hardware we do have is the the logo in the center now the bag is rectangular in shape. It kind of has, a, has an envelope shape. As you can see, the flap in the front kind of points down like an envelope. And the logo they did decide to put on the bag is this kind of like sideways F in a circle. I don't know if they have a name for it, but I call it the sideways F in, the cir in a circle. And it is a snap closure, so it's very easily opened and closed. It's like a kind of magnetic snap. And as you can see, for a walk, it is a pretty big bag. It is pretty spacious. It does say Fendi on this side of the snap closure. It also does say Fendi on the top side, as you can see. Now there is one long pocket in the back, which you can easily fit your phone does come with all the authenticity cards. So Fendi, wallet on the chain, as you can see. Fendi Roma. There are also card slots, so you really don't need a full-size wallet in this bag. There are eight card slots in total. There is also a zipper at the front. I'm just gonna try opening it. As you can see. Now the zipper pull is quite plain. Let me just show you that. There you go. But this is a cute detail. There's the kind of FF logo at the end of the zipper. Now the inside of the bag like the outer sides, so this side and this side are in leather. All the rest is material. 
So it's like a cottony pink material that does say Fendi every now and then on the bag. In the pocket, it does say Fendi made in Italy. And I guess in this pocket, you can keep your cash or more important documents you might carry around for your day. Just gonna close the zipper again. And as you can see, you do have a strap. It is easily removable with these little closures. So you can wear this bag a multitude of different ways, crossbody, um, on your shoulder, or even as a clutch. For those of you who are wondering what the chain looks like, it's kind of these intertwined loops. Now the back of the bag is pretty simple. In fact, it's very simple. There is no pocket, it's just a smooth leather bag. So now let's take a look at what fits in this bag. So as for what fits in my bag, as you'll get to see, it is quite spacious and I consider this more of a mini bag, even though Fendi does refer to it as a wallet on the chain. So let's just see what fits in the bag. Obviously, I personally wouldn't use a card holder since there are eight slots in the bag. I would just directly put my cards into the card slots. But if you're one who likes their their card holders, you can definitely fit that in. You can also fit your cell phone in. I'm currently using mine to film this video, so I can't really show you. I have the iPhone 11 and it fits very easily in this bag as well. Can't forget your mask nowadays. Your handbag hanger. I like to fit my lip glosses and my lipsticks in. These are currently the colors I'm wearing today. So as you can see, I like using the Pat McGrath Bimini lipsticks because I never finish the full size ones. So like this, I can kind of use them. Once I'm done with them, move on to the next color I'm into. With my um, Tarte Lip Quencher. And obviously my keys have to fit into my bag. And as you can see, I can easily close the bag without deforming it in any way. So there you have it. Now let's take a look at the different ways I can wear this bag. So the first way to wear this bag is kind of on your shoulder, but like shorter, kind of like a classic a Chanel classic flap. So you kind of loop the strap twice around the flap on the inside, which gives you kind of two straps like this. And if I put it on my shoulder to show you, it kind of hits right under your arm your armpit, just like a uh, Fendi baguette. Now the next way is to wear it again on one shoulder, but with a longer strap. So you can kind of make an X with the two straps, with both sides of the strap rather, and it kind of makes a longer over the shoulder bag and this hits right above my hip there's also a third length if you want to wear it on one side and you've kind of just uncrossed the straps on the inside and you can wear it over one shoulder it's kind of the longest version of the strap and as you can see, it does hit under my hip. I am 5'6 for reference, but I don't really mind. I kind of like the look with the chain strap. It kind of gives it a 70s vibe. You can obviously also wear this bag crossbody. And if I do wear a crossbody, it hits right at the hip. It's a, the perfect length for me. It's very easy to get into the bag, get out of the bag when wearing it like this. The last way to wear the bag is clutch. So obviously I would have to remove the strap. And 
as you can see it's easily removable and you kind of just wear it like this handheld for more of an evening look or for evening events so now let's take a look at the pros and cons of this bag so as for the pros and cons of this bag i do have many pros there is one con i would say but let's let's start with the pros for the pros it is a very versatile bag i mean there are plenty of ways to wear it as you just saw before crossbody as a clutch on your shoulder not only that as well you can wear it with a dressy outfit you can also wear it with a more casual outfit kind of like your chanel classic flaps that type of feel as well it is very durable as you can see or as you saw in the close-up video before there was no color transfer no scratches the corners are impeccable which is great it is a very spacious bag as well they do call fendi does call it a wallet on a chain but as you can see you can fit a ton it's more of a mini bag as i mentioned before and all in all it's just a classic simple bag that kind of you can never really get fed up of it because it is so simple now let's move on to the cons for the cons, my only con for this bag is really the color. It is a light color, so although it is pretty durable, you still have to be careful with it. I mean, I don't do it on purpose to rub it on my blue jeans or any colorful clothes that might lead to um, color transfer. So that is the only con I can think of personally. Now this bag, I did purchase it two years ago. And so it is still this exact style is still available on certain websites like Farfetch. I can link some below in the description box for any of you who are interested. As well, Fendi did kind of modify this wallet on a chain. They do have a similar version. However, it is kind of more of a wallet in shape, so it's kind of longer. However, they do have two versions. They have the version where you can kind of pull out the, the card holders and the, the version where it's kind of built into the bag like this one. The price does range between 850 and 1,200 US dollars. So that's an option for those of you who are interested. If not, I'm sure there are plenty of these available on the resale market. So that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Fendi wallet on the chain. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave all your comments or questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.